Hello friends, welcome to my craft channel. Crafty Queen Bee here. Welcome to the holiday season. The first item craft project that I'm going to be sharing with you is this cute little snowman that uh, I painted the ornament and just stuck him on these two candlesticks that I put together. First thing we did was glue the candlesticks together, then we went outside and spray painted them. Okay friends, I've glued uh, my two candle holders together with E6000 and I let it dry overnight. Now I'm ready to go ahead and spray paint it. And I'm using this Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. I love it, it works great. All right, here we go. Okay, that's gonna do it. Let's go inside and paint the snowman head that's gonna set on top of there. And now I am ready to paint my snowman face. And we did something very similar to this, remember friends, when I did the jack-o'-lantern faces on the, uh, the orange balls that I spray painted? Well, I've already spray painted this one white and I am ready to get started. Here are some of the items that we're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna need your uh, slick paints. You're gonna need white, orange, black, and silver. You're gonna need Prisma glitter, that's the very fine glitter, the black and the white, Epsom salt, uh, some paint brushes, stiff dry brushes, uh, just odds and ends here. You're gonna need some of this greenery that's got the wire in it, and of course a snowman hat, and an ornament like a snowflake ornament scissors and maybe a little bit of a pot cleaner, um, fake snow, a glue gun, just a plate and a napkin to work with your paints. And uh, you're gonna need a little piece of a styrofoam and I'm just using this round one and I'm gonna cut a little piece off. And you're gonna need your X-Acto knife or a knife to cut it with and some ribbon and something to place your little ball ornament on. And I have already cut out my stencil for the eyes and if you can tell, I've already been using it. Here's my pattern. Um, so you're probably thinking, holy moly, that's a bunch of stuff to just to make one project. Friends, if you're a crafter, you probably already have all of this. Alrighty, don't let that scare you. And if not, go out and buy it and you're gonna continue using it for other crafts. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is, and since we're on camera filming, I decided to use some of this painter's tape or this blue tape to tape my pattern on because I had a tad bit of a problem the last time. So, I'm gonna pretty much guesstimate Okay, I'm going to get some of this black slick paint. Put some on my plate here. Remember, I use a plate because after I'm through with my project, I just throw it in the trash. Okay, I'm using a dry brush that's stiff. Dip it in the paint, take out the excess. better not to have enough the first time than to have too much. Alrighty, here we go. There's my first eye. Alrighty, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my black Prisma glitter and I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it on there. I'm gonna press it down a little bit and then shake off the excess. All 
voila, there you go. You've got your eyes done. Now, if you have a Cricut, it is so convenient to cut out all your little pieces. But like I told you before, uh, I don't think I need a Cricut in my life at this point, although it is getting very tempting. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back down, grab my pattern, and I've cut on my stencil a hole where the center of the mouth is gonna be. And folks, don't let this scare you. You can use buttons and glue them on there. Um, you can just, just about, just be creative and um, it doesn't have to be done with slick paints or if you don't have a Cricut. You can use buttons, I think that'll be good. And then for the mouth, it, they used to have these little snap pieces on clothing that maybe they still sell um, that you might could use that'll give you a cute mouth as well. I'm gonna go ahead and glitter. No, I'm not gonna glitter it yet. Sorry. Back up, back up. Back up, back up, like a tonka truck. Let's see, next. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, and when you're using the slick paints, I recommend that before you put it on the project, be sure and squirt some out on a plate. You don't wanna get an air bubble and have it splatter and ruin your project. All right, that's gonna be my mouth right there. Go ahead and sprinkle a little glitter. And I'm gonna grab my Sharpie and just kind of pinpoint where I want the rest of the dots to go. All right, so I've marked the places where I'm gonna put the rest of my dots for his mouth. I'm not gonna do that right now because uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this red acrylic paint and go ahead and blush the cheeks. And I'm using this old dry brush that I have that does a great job on the cheeks. But you know, folks, um, Walmart sells these little uh, dot tools. It's like a little wooden handle like this and it's got a little round sponge at the end. I didn't realize that. I saw them uh, last weekend and um, those would be great like if you're unsure and you just want to dot each cheek on there those would work great and I think there's three different sizes in a pack so I haven't tried them yet but I will. Let's see. And I like nice big cheeks. Alrighty. And they don't have to be perfect. Okay. Throw my brush in the water there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, use the orange slick paint and just put his nose on there. And I just go with little strokes like this, make it look like a carrot, and then a curl at the end. It's kind of goofy, but it works. Don't be afraid. It'll be all right. Okay, now I'm going to take the white slick paint and I'm just going to put some little dots on the cheeks. Now I'm ready to polish off his mouth. Okay, let's hope this does good. Right out of your little container here. Ooh, a little off centered there. Make it work.
There you go, folks. You've got your face detailed. You can stop right there, or if you're like me, I like to add extra detail. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little snowflake right here and another one up here. And I'm using the silver slick. All right, and the way I make my snowflakes, there's no wrong way of doing it. I just make like a cross. And then I just add some dots, more dots, dots, more dots. And then just pull some little lines from it. Very easy, straight out of the little container here, your slick bottle. I am going to turn this one around so that I can get the big ornament up here. I mean the big snowflake on the ornament. These are so fun to decorate. I'm going to use this particular snowman on several different projects that I have coming up. I'm going to be painting a snowman on a chair and I'm going to make a mini swag to go over the top of the chair and I'm going to include one of these little guys in there. All right, stop there. But I want him to have some little curls coming out of his forehead. And the way I do that is just can't go wrong. Little curls. There we go. Okay, you've got your snowman all detailed. Now I'm going to let him sit. So I'm going to set him aside so that he can dry. Okay, I've got one that is ready. After that one dries, I'm still not happy that he's not all shiny on the snowflakes. So what I did is I grabbed my Maj Paj. And they all come out different, but they're all cute. They all have their own personality. Grab Maj Paj and a stiff brush. and put a little bit of that over the dried snowflake. Then I took the white Prisma glitter and I put it over that. And it'll dry clear and it'll be so pretty. It'll have that little shine on the snowflakes, just like it has it up here on the little curls. He's ready for a hat. Now here is the hat that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna pull this top off. Whoa, goodness. I have a little snowball on top of his head. <laughs> goodness. Normally they just come right out. All right, and what I did is I took my scissors and I poked a hole right in here in the center so that it can fit right on top of his head. Wasn't hard to do at all. Then I took some hot glue. You can use E6000. E6000 reinforces everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. I know that he's not completely dry on the sides, but 
I'm going to go ahead and try and put him on the candle holders. Okay, friends, I failed to mention one thing. Um, the, the way I made this candle holder uh, work for me, I took two candle holders from the Dollar Tree and I'm using this fix-all adhesive. I've never used it before. It's from the Dollar Tree. I usually use this E6000, but as you can see, I'm completely out of it. So I'm going to have to use this. I can't recommend it because I don't know how well it works, but I'm going to try it and hope it does good. But this is what I did. Is I put glue on one and then flip this one over. And sometimes they're not even, but that's okay. Make them work, friends. Just make it work. And I let that dry overnight. I'll just put it right here. Then when it was dry, I took it outside and I spray painted it. And this is what's going to be the base to the snowman little centerpiece here. All right, friends, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece of a little square out of this styrofoam to place down into the candle holder just to give my little uh, snowman a little height so that when I put the garland around him, I'll have something to work with. All right, take my X-Acto knife here. Just cut. That'll work perfect. I'm gonna take some glue, hot glue, and just put around it. press it in there. All right, now I'm going to take my little friend here and place him in the center. I'm going to turn him around just while I'm gluing him down. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute already. One thing that uh, you could use is some um, floral adhesive that would work with the styrofoam but for right now I'm just going to use the hot glue. Let that set for a minute. His cheeks are still wet and I'm sticking my hands in it but that's okay. All right now I'm gonna take this garland and I'm going to wrap it around here twice and just guesstimate. I'm going to cut about, oh, about a yard. Or is that half a yard? <laughs> I don't know. I never measure. I guesstimate. It's a piece this long. I'm going to twist it down. And then I'm going to come back around again. Okay, I'm going to stick a little bit of hot glue just to keep that in place. Give that a minute to dry. He's looking so cute already. Oops. <laughs> Expect the unexpected when you watch one of my videos. We will make it work. I guess I, didn't, I, guess I need to put more glue here at the bottom. Okay, next, he is going to be ready 
pour some little decoration around his neck. I got this little candle ring at the Dollar Tree and I've been stealing little pieces off of it and that's what I'm going to use to decorate it with. I'm going to cut this piece off right here. As you can tell, I've already used it on several projects. And I'm going to hot glue that right there. Okay. Hold that down for just a minute. This is a little branch, uh, a little sprig that I bought at Walmart. Uh, it was only like 98 cents and I've been stealing little berries off of it for my project. And you can use anything you have. Um, you can decorate it any way you want. We don't have to make our craft projects hard in any way. Sometimes they just don't cooperate with you. Oh my goodness, you could stop right there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a bow on him as well. And I took a little piece of this um, wired ribbon. And what I'm gonna do first is take a single strip and tie it into a knot. All right. I'm just gonna make a plain, simple little bow just like this. And I'm going to squeeze here in the middle. going to grab a little piece of pipe cleaner here twist it okay folks we're ready to glue this bow on. I'm gonna turn him around just so I can make sure I get it in the center. Also, I'm gonna add this little snowflake. And I just picked up a pack of these uh, at probably after Christmas last year at Walmart. There's 20 in a package. Those are a good buy because you can use them on all kinds of craft projects during the holidays. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna glue him along with the bow. I've used the tie that it comes with to loop it over the center of the bow, hopefully to hold it in place. Now I'm going to add my hot glue. It is looking pretty cute. You know, I keep saying that these would be good um, for you to keep or to give away or teacher give, friendship give, but you know what? These would be great uh, to sell at your craft bazaars. I would buy one. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the ends and just kinda curl that. You don't even have to cut the ends. Curl them. That's what I like about this wired ribbon. Okay, friends, there you go. My first craft project for the holiday season. And I think he is adorable. What do you think? 
be sure and comment below. Um, if you find this video helpful in any way, remember, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Today is a good day to smile and craft something.